What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Back with another unboxing video for you guys. This time from 88 Films. Haven't gotten anything from them in a little while. And uh, they released a new title for the Slasher Classics line. And they've actually announced um, a couple more. They announced uh, 10 to Midnight. And uh, what were the other ones? I don't even remember the other ones. Uh, Grandmother's House. And there, I think there's one more, uh, Moon and Scorpio or something like that. I'll try to throw the pictures up uh, on the screen here for you guys, um, if I remember those correctly. And they announced a bunch of other stuff too. Um, currently right now on the site, when I looked before doing this video, like almost everything is showing not in stock. So I don't know what's up with that, including the titles in this video. Um, I don't know if they're just not shipping them right now or, or if they're out of they're actually out of stock or, or what but um hopefully they're back in stock soon and uh you guys can order this stuff as well but uh yeah coming from all the way across the pond there from the uh uk here uh from uh good old 88 films it doesn't really say 88 films it says uh james and james fulfillment so uh it used to say 88 films so not really sure what's going on but anyway, uh, before I start, guys, um, if you're new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you if you would, if you like this content and everything. For you guys that are subscribers, thank you so much for uh, the continued support. And uh, if you guys feel like spending some of your hard-earned money on me, myself, then uh, there's links to the Amazon wish list, uh, PayPal if you guys want to help support the channel, all that good stuff. Uh, if not, cool. I I. I can't say that I blame you, um, but yeah, uh, like I said, Instagram, Twitter, all that good shit down in the description, and uh, yeah, I, I just, I never really say that in most of my videos, so I just figured I'd throw it out there, uh, anyway, uh, let's get to what you guys are here for, see what these things look like in person, I mean, you can always see the images, like, you know, I'm sure the thumbnail for this video has the images of them. And everything, but until you see them in person, it's it's not the same, I guess. And uh, I'm gonna go over to the Blu-ray player, show you guys the menu screens and everything like that. So, uh, yeah, of course I am region free. I will let you guys know as well if both these are region B locked or not, um, and uh, all that good stuff. So let's open this puppy up. <laughs> they have pretty uh, distinct packaging on theirs too as soon as i opened the mailbox i knew this was a 88 films package kind of like um people that order from uh oh what is it <laughs> can't remember the uh the name now uh hamilton book people always know uh their packaging all right so first up here we have number 43 in the slasher classics line here and that is schizoid now I know this had a double bill release from Screen Factory with uh, along with X-Ray, um, but and I thought I had that double pack from Screen Factory, but uh, I did not. So um, yeah, and of course they switched to their black cases. I have a couple red cases left. Uh, I'm gonna have to find a way to get some more. But uh, dear Julie, don't let me do it again. Schizoid. I feel like the top is different than usual. I, I don't know. Maybe I am just haven't looked at one in a while. But uh, we'll go over the features and all that stuff here in a second. Get them opened up. And the other thing here, I'm surprised they still had in stock. But uh, and I think this is the only box set I have from 88 Films. I wanted the Hollow Man 2-pack, but uh, that is not available anymore. But that is the Anaconda Quadrilogy. Uh, so you got four films in here, which includes, uh, of course, Anaconda from 1997, which had, um, oh, uh, J-Lo and Ice Cube and, uh, was it John Voight or whatever? I could be completely wrong. Uh, of course, the first one from there, you have Anacondas, which is the second one. The uh, Hunt for the Blood Orchid from 2004. And then, then you have uh, Anaconda 3 and 4 on their... Uh, same disc so anaconda 3 is offspring from 2008 and anaconda's trail of blood from 2009 um i don't know how well you're going to be able to see that with the shrink wrap on but 
Let's uh, let's open these up. My knife broke yesterday doing the video, and it's the only one I had, so we're just going to use the blade to the knife. Very carefully, I guess. Actually, they should open out. I thought they had like a pre... Eh, maybe not. So let's, uh, let's dig in here very carefully without damaging anything. Thought they had that little perforated uh, back on there. And in case you guys are, are curious, this uh, Halloween shirt that I'm wearing, I know you can't see. Um, it's like the poster art, and it's got like all the cast and stuff on the bottom. Uh, got this at Walmart for $7.88. I know Walmart's a really hated store. A lot of people refuse to go there or whatever. But uh, let's face it, we all fucking go there, um, whether you like it or not. But uh, yeah, seven eighty eight at Walmart. So I just thought I'd throw that out there while I was doing this video. Not that I support Walmart, but... Obviously, I do, because I do buy shit from there. You know what I'm saying. It's like, you hate them, but yet you have to go there to go to the store or, you know, get movies sometimes. But uh, here is the inside, of course, in the black case that they switched to. And uh, I like to get these when they first come out, too, because you're guaranteed the slip and the booklets, which are only on first pressings. Um, so you have, like, poster arts and stuff like that, like lobby card types things going on in here and uh, of course notes on the film I don't know too much about this uh, movie here oh they they blocked blacked it out for me <laughs> look at that they block, blacked out her uh, nipple for me didn't have to didn't have to put that over but uh I, I love their booklets I think they're pretty neat um, which I believe this is done by uh, Oh, it's going to say on the case, it'll say on here. Uh, da, da, da. No, this booklet and notes is by Matthew Edwards. Usually it's by that uh, Calum, uh, I forget his last name, Calum something. Alright, so anyway, I believe they still do the reverse art, which is a little bit different than the slip, not a whole lot. You actually see, you still have the shadow figure, but you actually see the faces of the other two on here. I uh, can't get it in there, very good. That's what she said. Anyways, um, I'm going to switch it out to a red case anyways, but you do have the reverse cover art here, which like I said is a little bit different. So uh, in this lur lurid shocker, a newspaper advice columnist starts receiving threats from a mysterious person. At the same time, the female members of her psychiatrics uh, therapy group are being murdered one by one by a maniac wielding a large pair of scissors. Could these incidents be linked? Donna Wilkes, Craig Wasson, and Flo Garish, and Christopher Lloyd. Oh, so you got Christopher Lloyd in here from, of course, Back to the Future and all that good stuff. Uh... Also star. I don't know how much of a synopsis that was. Uh, but on here you do get, well, I'll go by this edition here because it included the booklet. Uh, features an interview with Floor Lawrence, a.k.a. Flo Garish. Uh, features include DTS, HD, MA, dual mono, uh, English subtitles, audio commentary with Troy Hallworth and Nathaniel Thompson, interview with writer... Director David Paulson, an original trailer. I usually don't read the features till we go over to the menu screen, but I figure for those that don't want to stick around for that, I just I, I like to show the menus because I like to see uh, the menus myself. Again, I, I do things on here that I would want to see. So um, this is from 19... Uh, I don't know. It runs 89 minutes, and it's from 1980. All right, so let's check out the Anaconda set here. I'll try to open this without using anything because that's kind of dangerous, just a loose uh, blade there. I don't want to cut myself, you know. I like blood and gore, but not my own. It's weird, I, you know, a lot of us watch, you know, these gory movies. If I see blood in real life, I'm like, uh, fuck. <laughs> Especially when it's my own. Uh, no, actually, it, it usually doesn't bother me. All right, nice, uh, 
It's nice, a shiny, sol pretty solid box set here. Open this on up. You got your artwork in here. The uh, the snake, and then some more artwork inside here. I know it's glaring like crazy. I think everybody's videos there's there's glare of some sort, and then it unfolds into your unfoldery. I guess that's better than than being in the. Um, the sleeves like that Eastwood said I did the video on man that was terrible packaging let's uh let's take all the disc out if we can get them out without breaking them uh, set them off to the side and I'll show you guys the artwork underneath here all right take the booklet out lots of artwork going on on this guy Really, really cool. I know I've seen the first two films. Uh, of course, everyone's seen the first one, I'm sure. Uh, and there is a standalone release of the first one from 88, and I know there's a U.S. release, too. Um, I think from, like, Mill Creek or something. But uh, you got a you got a booklet here. It says, uh, Squeezy Does It, Anaconda and the Creature Feature Legacy. You got some uh, artwork on the back. I'm excited to check out the other two that I haven't seen. This doesn't look like a lot of photos in this one. There's a lot of, a lot of writing on here. Do you have an image from the first film here? Man, it doesn't seem like it was, uh, you know, a couple pictures of her, uh, Jayla. Um, doesn't seem like it was that long ago, man. 97. Wow, that's uh, that's crazy. Some more artwork here. Some more photos from the film. Uh, seems like a lot from the first one, but uh, for those that uh, haven't bought from '88, man, you guys can see what kind of quality they put into their releases. They they really put a lot of uh, love and care into their into their uh, packaging and their booklets. You know, you got a lot of notes on the films here. I'll probably never read the booklet, but uh, hey. Uh, anyways. So, cool, cool, awesome stuff here. Let's uh, let's put the disc back in. Here's your here's your disc art. Here's Anaconda three and four. And here is Anaconda two. The Anacondas hunt for the blood orchid. I remember that one actually being pretty decent. It's been a long time since I've seen it though, since it came out. I was back. I I, I uh, rented it or something. And there's your artwork for the first film. Awesome, awesome stuff, guys. Um, if you guys can get this cheap still, I think it came out to uh, like 25 I think it was under 30 bucks American um, for this set. We're right at it. And that's a, that's a really good price for a four-film set. Granted, they're not... Um, as popular as like a Halloween set or a Friday the 13th or Nightmare on Elm Street or something. I mean, you're basically paying that for the first one probably. But a uh, really, really nice box. Um, very shiny. So uh, I'm not going to read the, the top here, but I'll go over the features real quick. And uh, so on disc one for Anaconda, you get an HD transfer of the original uh, 235 aspect ratio. Optional English subtitles, audio commentary by genre expert Scott Harrison, a blockbuster with Bite, The Legacy of Anaconda, interview with critic Kim Newman, a slithery story, remembering the effects of Anaconda, an interview with special effects supervisor Steve Johnson, a franchise with fangs, remembering, remembering the Anaconda movies, interview with Jonathan Melville, author of Seeking Perfection, The Unofficial Guide to Tremors, a squeeze play, Producing Anaconda, an interview with producer, uh, pr producer, producer, Leonard Robin, Robin Witz, orig and original trailer. So, on disc two, uh, Hunt for the Blood Orchid, you get an HD transfer, the original 2.40 aspect ratio, original uh, English subtitles, original 
or sorry, English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, audio commentary by genre expert Scott Harrison, deleted scenes, special effects toolbox, creating anacondas, uh, original trail, uh, trailer. On disc three, uh, the, the features get shorter and shorter, not much on this one. HD transfers and original 1.85 aspect ratio, original English subtitles, English DTS HD Master Audio 5.1, audio commentary uh, by genre expert Scott Harrison. So at least you get the commentaries on all, all the uh, films here. Includes a uh, limited edition slipcase, of course. Enclosed fold-out digipack with new paintings from acclaimed artist uh, Jeffrey Peller. Uh, Squeezy Does It, Anaconda and the Creature Feature Legacy from the Files of Schlock and Awe. Extensive booklet notes by film uh, journalist Dave Wayne and Maddie uh, Budwer... But, but, Matt... I can't pronounce the last name, but lots of, lots of features on here, guys. Um, of course, not so many on, you know, towards the, uh, ladder films there, but a really nice box set here from 88. So very, very happy with these purchases. Purchases, uh, both arrived in fantastic condition, which is fucking crazy. Cause I just got tells from the dark side from Amazon you know, shipping within the states, and it came all fucking jacked up on the slip. But yet, these come from the fucking UK in just a box with no packaging materials or anything, and they arrive in, in perfect condition. Why is that? <laughs> you know? <sighs> it's frustrating. You know? But anyway, uh, let's head over to the TV, and I'll show you guys the menu screens, and... Yeah, go from there, I guess, if you want to stick around for that. And uh, I'll let you guys know if they're region B locked and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah, let's head on over and uh, check them out. All right, guys, we do have a winner here on Anaconda. This is uh, apparently region free, so this is on my regular U.S. 4K player. I'll try to zoom in a little bit here for you guys. So you have uh, play feature, play with subtitles, audio commentary, a blockbuster with bite, slithery story, a squeeze play, a franchise with fangs, and theatrical trailer. And you do have some audio. I don't have my mic hooked up. I apologize, guys. Um, if you hear any background noise or anything, uh, because it is kind of like a tabletop mic, so I just don't have it hooked up. But uh, you do have some background music, no animated menu or anything like that. But um, I guess we can go ahead and Maybe click on one of these uh, features here. Let's go with a uh, squeeze play. But I uh, haven't tested the other ones yet to uh, see if they're region free as well. I apologize, my hand is shaky right now for whatever reason. Uh, yeah, this is the producing Anaconda. Of course, I already went over the features with you guys, but um, yeah. So that's cool that uh, it does work on uh, the regular US Blu-ray player. So if you guys want this set, it appears to be region free. Let's check the other ones. All right, guys, let's see what happens with the second disc here. See if uh, it's region free or not. Come on, come on. Uh, looks like we're in, we're in luck here. So cool, cool. Awesome, awesome. Again, I apologize. My hands are really shaky today for some reason. Don't know why. Here's your nice 88 Films logo. I know this is super exciting to sit here and watch something load up, right? Right? If you guys are still sticking around, you guys are fucking awesome, by the way. Um, get that uh, watch time up. You know, that's, that's, that's what I really need. Uh, all right, so we got play feature, play with subtitles, audio commentary, deleted scenes, special effects toolbox, and your theatrical trailer. Wow, that is bad that I'm shaky as shit. So, all right, let's check out the third disc. Wow, man. Maybe I drank too many monsters. Hell, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's throw in the last disc. All right, guys, we are good to go. This whole set is region free. 
So that is really awesome. If you guys are interested in picking this up and you live here in the U.S. like myself, uh, feel free to do so. And uh, you won't have any issues or shouldn't. So you got play feature, play with subtitles and audio commentary for the offspring. And same thing on uh, Trail of Blood. So, yeah, we are in business, guys. Um, so, if any of you were weary about picking this up, whether or not to play on the U.S. players, uh, you're you're all set. You're good to go. Go ahead and grab it. It's a really really nice looking set. And uh, yeah, let's uh, go over to the other player. Well, same TV, but uh, yeah, let's check out Schizoid. All right, guys. There is the menu for Schizoid. Man, I miss these 88 films uh, slasher classic menus. It's been a while since I've seen one. So you got play feature, setup, interview with David, uh, what is that, Polson, and original trailer. I know a lot of your older 88 films releases had um, like a, a trailer galleries and stuff like that. So in your setup, you got your audio commentary with uh, Troy Hallworth and Nathaniel Thompson. And, uh, yeah, that's really about it. Unless you want to change the audio. So, cool, cool. Um, how do I get out of here? <laughs> eh, it's been a while since I've used this player, so uh, my apologies. But, yeah. Um, nope, it's not that button. It doesn't do anything. Yeah, uh, Schizoid. Oh, close. That's how you get out of here. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna go to play just for shits and giggles. Hopefully I don't hit any uh, nudity or anything. Um, we'll see. Well, you won't see. I'll cut it out, but... Checking the quality on this here. Fierce is an... Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fucking transfer. Yeah, I'm not going to play too much. I don't want to give anything away, and I haven't seen it either. So, All right, that's going to do it for this video, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. If you want to see more unboxings like this with the menu screens, let me know, and uh, I'll take the extra time and do more of them for you guys. Uh, if there's any films out there, I'm sure I probably have whatever you're looking for. Um, I don't know what release I'll have, but uh, yeah, any requests, feel free to drop them down in the comments, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. As always... Peace, love, and happiness and uh, to everyone. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.